Welcome back guys to a brand new video. Making this video after a really really long time. I hope you guys enjoy it. In today's video we will be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Whether you should buy it even after the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 have been announced. So let's get started. So here I have the watch completely ready and set up to go as you can see. This is the live watch face that comes along with the watch. You can choose many from the application. I have here the silver variant. On the back you will find your heart rate sensor which is also capable for VO2 and ECG. On the right you will have your two buttons. One is the back and one is the home button. And then on the left you will find your speaker grill. And on the top you have a beautiful AMOLED display which is looking very gorgeous. Also to mention the speaker here is pretty loud and you can make phone calls with it very easily. Now it is a smartwatch and it is a touchscreen smartwatch if you haven't figured that out already. You can swipe left and right to scroll through the widgets after you have pressed the home button if you haven't seen that. And there is a signature feature of a non-rotating bezel of this Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 which does remind me about the iPod Nanos that used to ship with the scroll wheel. Now as you can see if I rotate through the top right or the corner bezel I can scroll through all the widgets like music, reminders, health, Samsung health with all my steps monitoring, heart rate and my stress levels and everything is done seamlessly. We can also add and even download more applications and other features from our app store which in this case is the Samsung store. So this also has a 580M water resistance so you can go swimming with this watch as well. Now to view the notifications you can swipe towards the right and if you click on the watch screen for let's say about 3 seconds you can select various watch faces which I was just talking about. Now they vary from their live wall faces to the classic ones and there's a lot to choose one and you can heavily customize it from even the Samsung Galaxy variable app. As you can see I just selected one and now it just changed to the time zone right here. Now I really like the live one which is already provided which is a default one as well. So I'm going to switch back to it right now. You can either swipe or use the rotating bezel which I said is a signature feature of the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. I have the aluminium version of the watch which has a silicon strap with various holes so it can fit any and every size of your wrist when it is very comfortable for the long run as well. It's a smartwatch and should last a long time. Now there are a few features as in you can flick the watch and uh, to your face and you'll be able to see the time or the watch face which you have and you can cover the watch with your palm to shut it down. This has an ambient light sensor which senses it and switches off into standby mode. Now moving on to the smartphone side, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and you'll have this Samsung Galaxy variable app pre-installed and as you can see I have already set up and it says Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. You have widgets, sound and features, display brightness and even set up this with your Samsung Pay and also have Bixby support which might not surprise you but it's there and you will have your widgets which you can reorder right here. Uh, I like to move my music above my alarm and according to your priorities you can just reorder as you like. Moving on to the device information, this device comes with a 768MB of RAM, 4GB of storage and a 340mAh battery. To install other applications other than the one available in the Samsung store, you can just click on the unknown install application and you can install other apps as well. As you can see, 340 milliamp hour battery. I would note it is quite fast at charging, but it's not the fastest one out there. Also, you can check your device statistics using the Samsung Health application, as in how many steps you have walked, as you can see right here, and it will automatically sync to your Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and take the data from there as well. As you can see, I have not used the watch extensively yet. You have to stay tuned for the full review for that. But this is a brief overview and you can use the application as such. 
and you have all the features of your heart rate, your blood pressure, your stress monitoring and ECG and other features such as the VO2 sensor are present but they are only restricted for the USA and Korea residents. So, should you buy the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 which I have right here? If you'd ask me, I think you should go for it. This device is almost $102 cheaper now considering the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 have been released. But I don't think they have a lot of differences, rather they are very much common. This watch is the only smartwatch with the non-rotating bezel which reminds me of the iPod Classic and the iPod Nanos. And I think it has almost the same features as the latest Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. Other features like the ECG and blood pressure are only available in South Korea and USA, which you can bypass, but that's for another video. As far as the basic concern, if you want to buy it, even after an year old, I think it's totally worth it considering the price. And if you like gadgets as much as I do, you are going to love the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Thank you very much for watching the video all the way. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give this video a thumbs up and comment down what was your favorite part of the video. Also, let me know if the intro video was good or anything is wrong with my style of making videos. I really appreciate that. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you again.